Now, this action that's being taken by the Biden administration or the EPA is something that should have been done a long, long time ago. It should have been done back when they first found out uh, about these chemicals not breaking down and, and really spreading throughout the water supply like a virus. <laughs> so if you don't know about these chemicals called PFAS, they are these it's this chemical that's been used in um, in so many different products. You have, they, they're used in fire fighting foam. The foam that they use to put out fires. It's used in nonstick pans. Um, some cosmetic products. Uh, uh, the, uh, what is that stuff? The, it's like water resistant products. Uh, nonstick. I mean stain resistant carpeting. Stuff like that. Um, it's been used in all sorts of stuff. And now... It's found its way into our drinking water. And it's been in our drinking water for years now. And uh, I think at this point, they said there's enough PFAS in everybody. Like, there's a, a small amount of PFAS in everyone's bloodstream. <laughs> like, that is that is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, or not everybody, but like uh, almost a majority of people or, or a good majority of people have PFAS in their bloodstream. Maybe like 80 something, 90 something percent. Now, um, the Biden administration said they plan to take new action or, or put forth new regulations for the toxic forever chemicals. Uh, Michael Reagan, the EPA administrator, wants to limit the class of chemicals that has been linked to cancer and is found in everything from drinking water to furniture. So it, it's it's everywhere. Excuse me. The Biden administration on Monday said it will require chemical manufacturers to test publicly uh, test and publicly report the amount of family of chemicals known as PFAS that is contained in household items like tape, nonstick pans, stain resistant furniture. The first step toward reducing their presence in the drinking water. Now, the, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm trying to pronounce this. I think it's per fluorokil and polyfluorokil compounds. I'm not sure if I said that right. Or PFAS refers to more than 4,000 man-made chemicals that are often called forever chemicals because they don't break down in the environment. Um, exposure to the chemicals has been linked to certain cancers, weakened immune system, thyroid disease, and other health effects. Um, Michael S. Reagan, the administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, said in an interview that regulating PFAS has been uh, one of his priorities. He previously served as top environmental regulator in North Carolina, where start where start where startlingly where startling high, startlingly high concentrations of the chemicals were found in several sources of public drinking water PFAS contaminants have been devastating the communities for decades i saw the i saw it firsthand in north carolina mr reagan said he recommended visiting um with mothers unsure of if their children children's drinking water it was safe and caregivers wondering if their loved one's terminal illness was associated with the exposure to the chemicals. The new EPA testing requirements will go into effect in a matter of weeks, Mr. Reagan said. The agency did not provide an estimate of cost to the cost of manufacturers, but Mr. Reagan said it is a cost that the industry, not taxpayers, should bear. Exactly. I 100% agree with that because a lot of these, a lot of these big industries know about this type of thing they knew the problems that were being caused by these chemicals and they knew the effects of the chemicals so and they let it happen some of some of them have like they've known about this stuff for decades now and they should be the ones that should bear that cost because they are the ones that put it in everything and let it leak into the environment like this and <clears throat> And now some people may say, well, well, they didn't know in the very beginning. Of course not. But over time, they knew. And a lot of this stuff was still being used in products. And, you know, they're going to do everything they can to avoid that uh, the consequences of that. But they should be the ones that have to bear this cost, you know, for the, the new testing and everything. Go ahead and make them test. Do, do whatever you have to. Because I don't want my drinking water to be full of uh, chemicals that I can't even pronounce. That's... Now that I think about it, over over the years, you see the the um, Americans have become increasingly, increasingly, increasingly more unhealthy. Um, it doesn't seem like we have as strong immune systems as we used to, or or not not, not as strong immune systems as we used to. But there's more sickness out there. Like people, 
uh, are just overall more unhealthy. And what we have consumed, it's like we don't know all that we've consumed, all that's in our plastics, in our in our in our bottles, our food, everything. It's so many chemicals out there that it just thinking about it makes me just feel ill. <laughs> so do whatever you got to do. I say tell them to go do whatever they got to do with this because it, I, I, some like this, this this type of stuff right now. I, I want to have safe drinking water. Um, I will want my family, everybody to have safe drinking water. Every nobody should have to be drinking poisoned water. Nobody should have to be drinking lead filled water. Nobody should have to go through that. Nobody should be sick because they took a bath. Like th- it shouldn't be happening in the most developed country on the planet. So, yeah. I agree with this. Uh, the rest of the article just uh, goes. It talks more about PFAS in North Carolina, um, but that, I just I just wanted to say that. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. This is what I was talking about. The EPA has set a lifetime health advisory for two types of PFAS in drinking water at seventy parts per trillion. Seventy parts per trillion. Essentially, cautioning the sustained exposure above the level could cause adverse effects. <laughs> Agency officials said it is too soon to say whether the EPA will recommend a threshold or a different one um, when it develops formal drinking water limits. Um, and also, Congress is another problem. Congress should have been passed something that uh, deals with this issue a long time ago, but they haven't. Of course not, they haven't. And probably still won't. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, this should have been done a long time ago. Credit to the Biden administration for taking action on this. Um, I don't know why no other administration has really done anything about this. Well, I guess we could guess why. But um, it's a different time now. Um, people are a lot more aware, and they're going to have to actually take action that improves people's lives. That's just the fact of it now. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, what do you guys think about this? Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like, whenever you do it, however you do it, wherever you do it, just do it. It's your boy Red X Black, and I'm out. Peace. I can't